For the third straight month in a row, the GTA resale housing market produced double digit annual sales growth with total MLS activity rising 18% year over year. However, even with this gain, sales last month were 19% below the 10 year average. The GTA housing market continued to improve in February while sales reported a large increase from a year ago. Activity remained well below normal, particularly relative to the recent population boom. While the market has been tightening in recent months, there has been a little upward pressure on selling prices as buyers remain cautious in light of current elevated interest rates. Hey there, I'm Matt Sloan, and I'm a realtor here in the greater Toronto area. And if I could ask a huge favor, if you could hit that subscribe button, it would mean a lot, as I'm working to really grow my new YouTube channel. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Now, let's look into what's been going on a little deeper in regards to price, supply, and demand indicators across the GTA real estate market. This will hopefully give you a little idea of what's happening and the trends that are occurring and even diving into the type of home that you may be looking to sell or purchase and give you an idea of what type of demand and supply is for that home type. So as we pull up this chart here, we'll start off with the MLS active listings. So you can see here that the active listings are actually finally up over the 10 year average of the 10 year average being 10,000, just over 10,000 homes on active listed on the MLS. So this past month we had just over 11,000. Uh, so about 10% there, we have uh, seen an increase in active listings. So good news from the inventory side of things, kind of, <laughs> because once we go over to this next chart, we look at the month of supply trend and this is the absorption rate. So active listings divided by the month of sales, it kind of gives us this number. And right now we're sitting at two months of inventory, which is really headed towards, or it's in a seller's market, but it's headed towards a, a more aggressive seller's market, we'll say. Um, but right now it's not too bad as, you know, a balanced market is three to five months. So we're just under that. So in a, Again, it depends on the area that you're in, but for across the GTA, we're looking at two months of inventory right now. And you can really see in this chart as it's been dropping quite a bit in these past few months here. Uh, so that's the trend that we're headed towards. So even though the active listings are up, months of inventory is down, which kind of means that sales are happening and buyers are getting out there and we're starting to see some activity again. How this has, you know, um, affected the price point. Well, we can look at this chart and we got the average sale price and we've seen this little spike up in February compared to the month of January, which is definitely due to a seasonal change. Um, this is expected heading into January or sorry, February, March, April, May. Um, so we, we do typically see a little trend up and a little spike from December and January months. So that kind of shows here, um, on this chart that, you know, we did see that spike and, and, um, and the average sale price across the GTA is starting to trend upwards, but not in a too much of a aggressive amount, um, just yet. And hopefully, hopefully not, but, um, we'll dive into that a little bit more by looking at, again, how I talked about the months of inventory. And you can really see here by looking at the specific home type how that, how the months of inventories are acting. So how the supply is within that home type. So across the GTA here at condos, condos are really started to head back down into a balanced market where for a while we were really seeing a buyer's market in the, in the condo space across the GTA. There are still some areas that we are seeing a buyer's market, but on average, we're, we're typically in about a balanced market right now with just over three months of inventory, um, in the condo space. Looking down at the detached market, you can really see this, the, the months of inventory really dropping down here over the last few months in the detached um, home type. And we're sitting at about one and a half months of inventory for the detached home type. And again, just as a reminder, I didn't say this, but I've said it in previous past um, videos. The, the one and a half or the 3.3 months of inventory that represents, it's kind of, um, 
a way of describing how much inventory is on the market currently. So if no homes were to come on the market starting today, no more homes, and every home were to sell, it would take, or every condo would sell, let's say in this instance, it would take 3.3 months of inventory to sell every condo. Um, it'd take about 3.3 months to sell every condo. And then when you look at the detached homes, it would take only one and a, one and a half months to sell every detached home. And even going down to the semi row and town home space, inventory is definitely getting low in that space. And we're sitting at 1.3 months of inventory there. So again, we've seen a lot of sales. We haven't seen the huge price jump yet, but we're not seeing a lot of inventory, um, especially in that town home semi um, uh, home type. So that shows that those are getting really competitive and around that 800,000 to 1.2 price point is, is getting pretty competitive there. And, uh, and as we look over to this one, this chart here, it shows again, the specific home type, but for average sale price, as you see, the condos have kind of maintained its uh, average, average sale price the last few months here, um, even dating back to last year. And then whereas we've seen some more ebbs and flows in the detached and semi row space. And if you look at this past month, you can see the spike in the, in the semi row and town home, home type. And you would definitely seen a little spike again in the detached market as well too. So looking at these home types, we can kind of see the trend and the direction things are going for each specific um, home type, but let's break that down into area a little bit further. So this is a cool chart. So for example, if you own a semi-row townhome in the Halton region right now, we're looking at less than one month of inventory. So really good time to sell, but competitive time to buy uh, a semi-row in townhome. And that being said though, if this continues, it's gonna affect the the average sale price for this home type. But that being said, if you're looking to purchase a, you know, a semi row and town home in the Toronto Central, Toronto East area, we still have over two months of inventory there. So there are some options there. And especially in the detached, uh, mark, uh, detached home type in the Toronto Central area and so on. Um, the condo space, you can see uh, a lot more inventory where you know, over three months and over three and a half months of inventory in some areas and, you know, going as low as just under two and a half months in, for example, the Durham region there for a condo space. So this, this is a cool chart because it really shows the type of home type that you may be looking to sell or looking to purchase and which area, which region that it's in. And it shows you where the trend is and what the supply is like in that area. So it gives you a little idea of, um, how your home may be looking to be priced to sell or how competitive it might be if you're looking to purchase. Um, so that's the last of those charts, which again, gives us a great idea of where things are right now. Again, I don't think we're seeing prices go crazy right now. We are seeing it competitive in areas as, as we saw, you know, months of inventory are getting low in specific areas, but not, too crazy across the GTA just yet. So there is that, there is that um, active listings on the market that is providing us with the inventory there, but they're getting scooped up a little faster and faster. <laughs> but overall, the market really isn't too bad right now. It's experiencing a sustained period of balance, which creates less urgency for buyers and delays for some home, homeowners from listing their properties until they feel a higher price can be achieved depending on your area, home type, and price point. This has resulted in a lower than normal sales volume that are leading to a further ac accumulation of pent up demand. Until interest rates show a clear sign of trending down, expect some more of the same and resulting in a calmer spring market than normal. Thanks for watching and remember, if you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and see you in the next one.